Hi, and welcome to a quick tutorial on the new camera tool in Animate CC. It came out in November 2016, and it's a feature that people who've worked in Flash and then Animate have wanted for a really long time. In the past, if you wanted to zoom in or zoom out on a scene, you had to shrink the scene down or scale it up. So I've got an example here from the animation I made for Relate called The Best Medicine. I've got a shot here where there's multiple roads and we zoom out from a very close up shot that you can see here of a man and his family to this shot here where you can see multiple roads and multiple people. So what I've had to do is for all these different layers, I've had to create a classic tween that zooms it from very, very large to very small. So in frame one, it's very large and you can see everything's there, but it's just been scaled up. And in frame 20, I've shrunk it all down so it fits on the screen. And this isn't necessarily the easiest way of doing things because you've got to have multiple classic tweens on multiple layers. And if those layers are moving as well, it just makes things more complicated. So before we look at the camera tool, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these classic tweens that have my original zooming in and zooming out by scaling the objects up and down. I'm going to remove those tweens. And frame 20, I'm going to select all of the keyframes by holding down shift. And I'm going to clear those keyframes. So we now don't have any zooming in or zooming out. We just stay in this zoomed in view. So to start using the camera, I'm going to click add camera down here at the bottom of the timeline. And we'll get this cool slider bar here, which enables us to zoom in and out and also rotate the camera. I'm going to go to frame 20 and press F6 to create a new keyframe. And then I'm going to go to the slider bar and slide it up. So I'm zooming way out to something like that. And you can see that I'm not really getting my content in the middle of the screen, which isn't ideal. So I'm going to use this camera icon here. And you can see it's got a sort of crosshair on it to move the camera to the correct place. So what just happened there is I moved the imaginary box sort of on top of where I want it to be. And you can use the arrow keys as well, like I'm doing now to move things around, get it to where you want it to be. So this can be a little bit fiddly. Okay, so that's pretty much what I want there. And we haven't got any animation yet. The cool thing about the camera layer is you can just use a normal classic tween. So I'm going to right click, create a classic tween. And now we get motion, just like we did before. But instead of having layers and layers and layers of keyframes and classic tweens, we've just got one up here on our camera layer. So we can see it's lagging a little bit on my laptop that can't quite handle playing it in Animate, but we've got exactly the same result as we initially had with all of those layers and all of those tweens, just with one layer and one tween. So to check out what it looks like, it's best to test the scene and then we can see how it plays in Flash Player and how it will render out to video. Things always play a bit faster once you export them. Now that it's exported, we can see we've got that really nice zoom out achieved in a much simpler way. Let's have a go at adding some rotation. I don't actually want any rotation on this scene, but this is a tutorial. So we're going to take a look at all the options available. So I've clicked on rotation. I'm going to slide the bar to the right. And we'll see what happens. So you can see we're starting to get a very kind of tilted shot. And this would be very difficult to achieve before this feature because you'd have to group all of those layers together as one symbol and rotate them. So you'd have all of these layers nested within a symbol, which isn't ideal. 
So it's a bit laggy on my laptop, but we've got that action now. You can see it's working it all out for us. So that's the camera tool in Adobe Animate CC from November 2016 onwards. Check it out yourself and I'll see you in the next one.